Look at this town's garage. In this video, I'll show you how to take out a stripped screw that holds in the rotor. Usually you use one of these, an impact driver, and this is what it looks like. You put it in there, you push down and you turn, and you hold it there, then you hammer this end, and it impacts that out. But as you can see here, this is stripped to oblivion. Another way you could do this is, if you have a big bit like this, put a socket on the end of it and turn it. But be careful. Also, you could put a pry bar here to hold this from turning. So right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill this bitch out. Okay, what you wanna do is here, you wanna drill this out of here, the head of it. So I'm gonna use a drill bit here to get this out. So, let's go. So that's what it looks like in there. You went through the rotor, that's what you want to do, with the drill bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and whack this off with a hammer. So that's what it looks like. It was right there. And let me show you what the hub looks like now. That's what it looks on the hub, like in the hub. You could use a little punch over here to punch that out. It fell out. That's what it looks like. So what you could do now here, you could run a tap in there if you want to reuse that. But it's not a big deal if you don't reuse it because when you put the lug nuts on, it holds the rotor in. And that's how you remove stripped rotor screws. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like me, share me. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, Clowny1969. See ya!